Greetings all! Last Outrider here with a new special series. I'm going to call them Timelines. You may have noticed in many of the codexes and data slates that they have a timeline. Whatever is going on, if it's an Eldar codex, they have the timeline from beginning to current day in 40k universe. Very few people read these timelines. There is a lot of interesting fluff in these timelines. And for my first video in the timeline series, we celebrate it by doing it with the Legion of the Damned. Yes, I will be going over a detailed account of every single recorded appearance of the Legion of the Damned in Imperial Records. Yes! You will know every single one, so let's get into it right now, shall we? A Legion Lost Despite the strange occurrences that all too often prevent the Legionnaires from being monitored, there exist those events in Imperial Records that undeniably show their presence as re recurrent phenomena. Every one of these appearances has been picked apart in minute detail by Ordo Kronos. Though in truth, their examinations have raised as many questions as they have answered. The year 006 of Millennium 40. The Pyrocataclysm of the Villadad Prime. After broadcasting a terror message condemning the lack of beauty in the populace, the renegades of the flawless host invade the adamantium mines of Villadad Prime. The 122nd Imaldian Destructors, a veteran Imperial Guard regiment assigned to monitor the tithe, make a valiant attempt to hold back the renegades. Modified Nova charges are set by the flawless host throughout the adamantium mines and the population centers above them. Though the surviving destriers fight the Chaos Space Marines every step of the way, the vast majority are slain in battle. Their precursors claiming the kills are for the sins... Their persecutors, sorry claiming the kills are for the sins of mediocrity in the face of true beauty. Though the destriers are reduced to their mortis threshold within the first three days of fighting, reports of strange face mar space marines appearing in the mining districts crop up again and again, each time engaging the flawless host and driving them back. At first, the strikes are too sudden and brutal and brutally effective that the Destriders think they have a real chance of outlasting the Renegades. When the Chaos Lord that calls himself the Visionary joins the fight, a hundred demonic handmaidens are at his side. The tide swings back again. For many of the Legion's number are banished by the vorpal claws of the slanishy demons. Those Legionnaires that remain become searing columns of fire, fighting with a fury that makes them every bit as frightening as the renegade invaders. During what comes to be known as the Pyro Cataclysm, the fire of the Legionnaires proves to be able to burn even demon flesh, and the Salanishi entities are sent screaming back to their master's realm. Though they commit a number of spiteful acts during their retreat, the flawless host flees back to their ships rather than risk disfigurement and defeat. During the fighting, a dozen new seams of adamantium are revealed by the weapons blast that scar the surface of Villadad Prime. The nearby forge world of Lepito Anvil triples its production of war material. 
ensuring the majority of its labors benefit the chapters of the Adeptus Astartes. Boom. See what I mean? Lots of nice fluff in the timelines. The next part will be year 343 of Millennium 41. The swords reforged. Until then. Bye.